Aero Service has been a community discussion for years. Over the past two years, however, residents and commuters of San Bernardino and Redlands have watched the resurrection of the historic railroad tracks that previously offered freight and passenger rail service to the East Valley. Today, we celebrate the arrival of the first state-of-the-art passenger trains known as DMUs, or diesel multiple units. These two-car vehicles, self-powered by an onboard generator that creates electrical power, were manufactured in Salt Lake City, Utah, and delivered to San Bernardino County in time to launch the new service. Crews excitedly offloaded the train bodies and began the swift process of joining the components. An extensive multi-point inspection of the trains remains active, as SBCTA and Metrolink look to begin testing these new vehicles along the nine-mile corridor bridging San Bernardino and Redlands. It's exciting to see it brand new. It has all the latest innovation that we need to have for our residents, and the future of travel for San Diego County residents is right here. It's just gorgeous. It's a, it's a good looking train and we need to continue to make public transportation safe, reliable uh, for San Bernardino County residents uh, that if they have an experience uh, like I had walking into this, uh, they're going to be impressed. Spearheaded by SBCTA, the vision for these DMUs and extending passenger rail service to Redlands were championed by our local leaders of the past. This is decades in progress and people are gonna see this improvement and they're gonna benefit from it. Um, but it took leadership of Pat Gilbreth advocating for this in, in Redlands, uh, to Mayor Pat Morris in San Bernardino, Larry McCallan in, in Highland. All of us as a region really took turns advocating for this, knowing that we may not see the benefit of that improvement while we were in local office. The DMU arrival is that vision being realized. Notably cleaner, quieter, and ultimately cheaper to operate than traditional locomotive hauled coaches, the DMU will provide a commuter experience that is unparalleled anywhere in the region. Some of the great things about this unit is we have places to have your bikes, we have Wi-Fi on the train to get your work or your schoolwork done to and from traveling. We have places in every seat to charge your iPhone, your iPad, or your computer. So we have built in the future into this unit that we have here. I think what stands out to me is the safety components, right? I mean, an eye toward safety here, but an also an eye toward convenience. Uh, the USB ports, the comfort, uh, the space, uh, all of that is, is just incredibly top notch and impressive. While user experience will always be a priority for both SBCTA and Metrolink, it is important to also appreciate what public transit offers in the form of access. As the uh, county grows, as, as this region grows, we're gonna need more transit uh, for the region. And to have uh, something that seamlessly connects with the, the Metrolink system in, from the East Valley gives uh, the people more options as to uh, uh, how they can travel uh, for shopping, for education, for, for medical uh, appointments, for uh, uh, recreation, and even for just commerce in general. But innovation doesn't stop here. Even before the first passenger boards the new DMUs later this year, SBCTA is already thinking about the future. Slated for delivery in 2023 is the first of its kind in North America's Zero Emission Multiple Unit, or ZEMU, a state-of-the-art self-powered zero emission train that can run on existing tracks. These new trains can transform passenger rail service throughout Southern California and beyond. And SBCTA is on the cutting edge of technology as usual. This tier four diesel power pack creates the energy that runs the cars back and forth. And we're very sensitive about the environment here in San Bernardino County, and we're on, again, the cutting edge. So we'll be the first to create the new power pack, which is the hydrogen fuel cells that will have the electricity go through the cars in the future. This one section in the middle of the train is the only thing we're gonna change in the future. Well, I wanna help San Bernardino County get to ZMU as, as quickly as possible. Um, but why it's important is because as a region, as a country, uh, we need to move away from fossil fuels. My goal is to put it on the entire system at some point. You're going to get uh, increased, uh, decreased headways. 
down to at least 30 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe, maybe even lower than that. We'll be able to shuttle back and forth between cities in, in San Bernardino County during non-peak hours and provide uh, transit services that uh, people will need. Through the work and collaboration of SBCTA and Metrolink, the future looks bright. And the future is now. I'm excited that this uh, is finally going to happen. I look forward to a brilliant future for San Bernardino County. We have so many uh, new technology features coming for transit, and it's going to be an exciting time. For more information about Aero, the new vehicles, the future of Metrolink, or all the other great advancements at SBCTA, visit us on the web at gosbcta.com. Get on board!